I'm uh, in the middle of painting a three-dimensional rendition of my favorite work of art, which is the Star Spangled Banner. And I'm doing one of these on one veteran's post in all 50 states. And this is my 41st stop since February. I've been on the road consecutively, continuously. I'm doing this to uh, bring attention to these buildings, a little more attention to these humble men and women who don't ask for anything. But in my mind, I, in my heart, I feel deserve more than anybody else, any other group of people in this country. And that's the uh, men and women, retired men and women of the armed forces, our veterans. And these are the men and women that uh, fought, died, sacrificed, come back now, missing arms and legs, PTSD, buried in those white tombstones at Arlington. And what'd they do that for? They did that for me. So I could be a crazy son of a gun artist and do whatever the heck I want. Paint what I want, where I want, test the boundaries of that First Amendment. You know, paint some controversial stuff if I want. It's the most amazing thing in the world for a creative person. But that came to be for a reason. And I don't think enough of us acknowledge the sacrifices that these superheroes behind this door have made. So I figured I'd use my talent and my gift that they have given me to go around and thank them in a big, cool, bold, visual way. So it's for them, but it's also for the people driving by in a community who become numb to these gray buildings. I want them to take a double look. I want a kid in the back seat of the car say, look at that beautiful flag, Dad. What's that all about? Why is that there? And his father can say, that's because special people hang out. Well, who? Well, our veterans. Well, who are they? and so on, and carry that, you know, pass that on, pass that patriotic fever on, because we need that thing. We're, we're one, genera one generation away from losing our freedom, always, and we need that next generation to, to carry this torch, you know, to, to keep the electricity on that shining city on the hill that gets, dumb, that gets dull and dim sometimes, and we can't have that. So, that's what I'm doing.